Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're going to be crocheting these adorable baby turtles. This is an oldie but a goodie. I created this pattern many years ago, but I just haven't made a video yet. I'll post a list of materials and stitches we'll be using in the description box below, as well as a link to my blog post where I've written this pattern out. So, let's get started. We'll begin by making the shell with the darker colored yarn. We're going to create a magic circle. And then we're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. I keep catching the other yarn while trying to make this magic circle, but we're only putting six single crochets into it. Now that we have all six single crochets in our magic circle, we're going to pull this loose end tight. And we can move on to round two. Round two, we're going to place two single crochet in each stitch around. So that'll be a total of 12 stitches for round two. So here I've placed one and two two single crochet in that first stitch. I'm going to pop in a stitch marker into the first stitch so that I know when I'm back to where I started and continue placing two single crochet in each stitch around. So now we'll pop out this stitch marker and move on to round three. Round three, we're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch. We'll pop in our stitch marker into the first one. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll repeat this all the way around two single crochet in one stitch one single crochet in the next stitch. So that'll be a total of 18 stitches for round three. For rounds four and five, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So that will be a total of 18 stitches per round, rounds four and five, and I'll catch you back at the end of round five. Here we are at the end of round five. We'll pop out our stitch marker and move on to round six. We're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll repeat this all the way around. Single crochet decrease in the one stitch and then a single crochet in the next. So here's that single crochet decrease and single crochet in the next total of 12 stitches. For our final round, we're going to be working in the front loops only. So we're going to place two single crochet in each stitch around using only this front loop instead of both loops. See how that's separate? One single crochet and two single crochet. 
I'm going to pop in that stitch marker. This is going to create that cute little ridge around the bottom of our baby turtle shell. So two in each stitch with the front loop only, which will be a total of 24 stitches for round seven. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the little notification bell. Your support allows me to continue creating these free tutorials for you, and so I really appreciate it so much. So here we are at the end of round seven. We're gonna take out this stitch marker and to complete it, we're gonna slip stitch into that next stitch using both loops, chain one, and we're gonna tie off with a long, well, not a long tail actually. So we'll pull through that chain stitch, which will secure it from coming unraveled. And I'm going to stuff the original tail into the center and then do the same with the finishing tail. But I'm just going to weave it through a couple stitches to make sure that it looks nice and neat. And here's our finished little shell. We'll set that aside and move on. Moving on to the lighter colored yarn, we're going to start working on the turtle's legs. We'll create a magic circle and we're going to single crochet six stitches into this magic circle. Now that we have six stitches in our magic circle, we're going to pull this loose end tight and we'll move on to rounds two and three. So for rounds two and three, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So that'll be a total of six stitches per round, just one single crochet in each stitch. So I'm using our stitch marker to keep our place and then I'll continue making these little legs. So since we're not increasing it, they're going to start curling. So you just want to make sure that the correct side is facing out. And I'll catch you back at the end of round three. So here we are at the end of round three. We're finished creating our little leg. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, and then tie off with a long tail. I like to use the beginning of the magic circle as stuffing, so I'll pull that tight one more time and then start stuffing that tail into the leg until it's nice and full, and then I'll trim off the excess of that tail. So here's our finished little leg. We're going to need to make four of these and I'll catch you back for the next step. For the turtle's head, we're going to create a magic circle 
<clears throat> and place six stitches into the magic circle. I apologize, I'm a little off center for just a second for this portion of the video, but all I'm doing is placing six single crochet into the magic circle and pulling the magic circle tight. For round two of the head, we're gonna place two single crochet into each stitch around. So that's one and two, pop in the stitch marker, And then continue placing two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches for round two. For rounds three and four, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. So that'll be a total of 12 stitches for rounds three and four. I'll catch you back at the end of round four. Here we are at the end of round four. We'll move on to round five, which is gonna be single crochet decrease. And then single crochet in the next stitch. We'll repeat this all the way around, single crochet decrease, and then single crochet in the next stitch, and that'll be a total of eight stitches for round five. For round six, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch around. That's a total of eight stitches for round six. And now we're going to pause for just a moment. So I'm going to pull this stitch really far out and place our stitch marker into it just in case it gets pulled. It won't come unraveled. And we're going to add our safety eyes and a little bit of stuffing. So the safety eyes are going to go two rounds from the center on the right or the left. So I'm using green ones here. I'm gonna link these down below for you. So I just counted from the center round one, two rounds. So it's gonna be in between rounds two and three on either side of the head. And then we'll just pop the safety backs onto this cute little turtle head. How sweet is that little face? So now I'm just going to pull tight on that magic circle tail and stuff it down into the head. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit of polyfill stuffing to give it a nice um, plump little head. With stuffing, the goal is just to make it full without being able to see through the stitches on the outside. That would mean we had overstuffed. So picking up where we left off, we'll remove the stitch marker and insert our hook back into that stitch that we pulled out. 
and pull it back tight. And so now we'll move on to the last round, which is round seven, which is one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of eight stitches for round seven. To finish off, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, and tie off with a long tail. And that completes the turtle head. We're going to set it aside to move on to the belly, but look how cute he is. The eyes just make this project. So now the last piece of this pie that we need is the belly of the turtle. So for the belly, we're going to create a magic circle. And we're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. Then we'll pull this loose end tight and move on to round two. Round two, we're gonna place two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches for round two. Leave me a comment and let me know which colors you use to create your baby turtles. For round three is going to be our last round. We're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. Two single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. That will be a total of 18 stitches for round three. To finish off, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, and tie off with a long tail. And pull that magic circle tail tight one more time and here we have our completed turtle belly now for the fun part is attaching all of our little pieces together and assembling this baby turtle to start we're going to take our tapestry needle and attach the head to the belly So first, we're going to stitch the opening in the head closed. This doesn't have to be elaborate, just a couple stitches run through. And 
and next we're going to attach it to the side of the belly so we want to make sure that we're using the correct side of the belly it doesn't really matter if you use the wrong side i just prefer the prettier side to be facing out which would be the bottom and we're just going to stitch back and forth through the head and the belly and then come back up through the bottom of the belly and through the head and we're just going to repeat until we have secured this very nicely i always run through my attachments twice maybe more just to make sure that they couldn't come off i give mine away to my niece and nephew and i would hate for them to be able to pull any pieces off or lose it or heaven forbid swallow it for any reason So now that we've got the head stitched on, we're going to move on to the feet. I'm just leaving all these tails. You can choose to tie them off and remove them as you go or at the end. So placing the tiny little legs, we're going to make it a shape of like four corners of the belly, if you will. So we'll have the front two legs and then the back two legs. So as tight little fit, but once you start stitching them down, it fits in perfectly. So we'll use the same process for the legs. So we'll run it through one stitch in the leg, through the belly, and then back down through and just keep repeating all the way around two times at least until I feel like it is nice and secure. Now we'll move on to attaching the second front leg in the exact same manner. And after that, we'll do the back two legs. Here we are with all of our little legs attached. How cute is that? And so I have this mermaid tail of tails. <laughs> and so I'm just going to start tying them all together and trimming them off as I go. We'll want to leave at least one really long tail, preferably the one from the belly, to attach it to the shell. So as you can see, instead of wasting all those long tails, I've stuffed them into the turtle shell as stuffing. So now we'll use our handy dandy tapestry needle and attach the shell to the top of the turtle. This is the most challenging part for me because I'm using the stitch underneath the last row of the shell just so that it's nice and hidden and then the outside stitch of the belly and I'll just go back and forth in that same manner. So now we're going up through the belly and then through that inside stitch of the shell. And just because I used the tails as stuffing does not mean that you have to. As you can see, it's kind of messy. You can definitely use the polyfill stuffing to stuff the shell. Yeah. <laughs> 
When we get to the head portion, we just want to make sure that the back of the neck is nice and secure to the shell and that it's sitting up at the appropriate angle. So at this point, I started just going through the bottom of the head and the top of the outer stitch on that shell. If you pull it tight enough, you can't see the stitches come through. And once the head is secure, I go back to using those underneath stitches to finish up this attachment. It looks like we're almost done. So he should sit up properly to where his head doesn't fall forward. So I'm going to go around and make sure that I have nicely secured this shell and add any additional stitches that tighten it up in order for it to sit correctly. And now I have a knot in my tail. There we go. And so now going back around to make sure that I don't need to add any stitches anywhere to make sure it's nice and secure. Now I'm just tying off on the back side by making a couple little knots and I'm going to weave this end in on the back where it's not very visible and trim any excess yarn. And this completes our tiny baby turtle. I love these so much. I made one for my niece so many years ago and I saw it at their house and decided to make another one now that I have a nephew. So naturally I made two new ones and they are just the cutest little things. They're precious. I love the different color variation options. So let me know which colors you use. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with a new project.